So the exercise is called seeing yourself through the eyes of someone that truly adores you. It doesn't have to be anyone in your current life. It could be someone from the past, someone who has passed away, or even a pet. And for me, it's my grandpa. Oh my gosh, okay. Hi everyone, Cheryl Marquez here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to me, I am a transformational coach. I'm on a mission to help divorced women step into their full power and build a life on their own terms. Today, I want to give you one very powerful exercise that's going to help you feel better about yourself. Are you ready? I wasn't always a confident person and when my family and friends hear this, they're probably going to be shocked, but newsflash guys, I was very good at hiding. So what I'm wanting to share with you today is that it's so important to do everything that we can to be our own best friends. Ladies, it's really time to stop talking shit to ourselves. I cannot stress that enough. So the exercise is called seeing yourself through the eyes of someone that truly adores you. Now, it doesn't have to be anyone in your current life. It could be someone from the past, someone who has passed away, or even a pet. And for me, it's my grandpa. Ooh, my grandpa, oh my gosh, okay. My grandpa, God, he hasn't even been around in like three decades and I'm still crying like a baby. Yes, yeah, sister, I still cry. Okay, I'm back. Isn't it amazing when someone leaves an imprint to that magnitude that you just, they're just unforgettable. Okay, so back to seeing yourself through the eyes of someone that truly adores you. It doesn't have to be anyone from your current life. It could be someone from the past or even a pet. Find a comfortable place where you can sit and meditate for a while. And just get into your breath, close your eyes, and begin to really harness their presence in your mind. Connect eyes with them and start to consider, what does this person see in me? And truly think about it. I know it can be super hard and uncomfortable to just sit there and I guess be very vulnerable and being seen like that, especially when we've spent so many years talking shit to ourselves, not seeing us for who we truly are. So just Take that moment, be kind to yourself, give yourself as much grace and compassion to feel those feelings. What does this person see in me? Take full inventory, what that feels like, the words that's coming up, and when you're done, make sure you write those things down. When you do this every single day, you are going to start to see yourself through the eyes of someone that truly adores you like what my grandpa has done for me, and I'm not gonna cry again, but I'll leave it at that, what my grandpa has done for me. So do yourself a favor and start this powerful exercise today. Until next time.